This is another interesting and challenging question come from IMSO2015. Suppose A, B, C are distinct positive integers that satisfy this equation. We are asked to find the minimum value of A plus B plus C. Now, first of all, it's interesting to note that 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 1 is actually equals to n plus 1 minus n over n n plus 1. And this actually means that this is 1 over n n plus 1. What does it mean? So this actually implies that 1 over n is equal to 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 over n, n plus 1. And this gives us some idea to solve the equation. First of all, we know that 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 is equal to 1. We can let n to be 2, and therefore 1 over 2 is equal to 1 over 3, plus when n equals to 2, this is 1 over 6. So we can replace half as 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. And we have this new equation. Likewise, we can replace 1 over 6 by saying that n is equal to 6. 1 over 6 will equal to 1 over 7 plus 1 over 42. So we obtain another equation that is 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 42 is equal to 1. And compared to the equation that we have, then we know that actually the sum of 1 over a, 1 over b, 1 over c is equal to 1 over 42. And therefore, from what we have here, 1 over a, 1 over b, 1 over c, is of the sum 1 over 42. If A, B, C can be the same, then we can easily get the answer. If A equals to B equals to C equals to 3 times 42, it will satisfy the equation because one of it will be 1 third of 1 over 42. So the sum will be equal to 1 over 42. For this question, we are asked to find the minimum value of A plus B plus C. We can try our best to get something that close to the minimum. We suppose C equals to 3 times 42, that is equals to 1, 2, 6. 1 over A plus 1 over B equals to 1 over 42 minus 1 over 1, 2, 6. So it is equals to times 3 times 3. 3 times 1 is equals to 2. 2 over 1, 2, 6 is 1 over 63. So now we have 1 over A plus 1 over B equals to 1 over 63. And we can multiply each term here by 63 AB. So the left hand side will equal to 63 A plus B. And the right hand side will be equal to AB. So this will means that AB minus 63 A plus B equals to 0. So this can be factorized as A minus 63 and B minus 63 equals to 63 squared. Okay. When you expand this, we have AB minus 63A minus 63B and you have SR 63 squared. That's why we need to plus, we need to add 63 squared on the right hand side. And note that A, B are integers. We need to factorize so that we can get the answer. And there are many answers for this, for this question. But in order to get a minimum value of A and B, we need to choose the factorization so that it is very close to 63. And note that 63 itself is equal to 7 times 9. So we can take 81 and 49. So in this case, we let a minus 63 equals to 81, 
and b minus 63 equals to 49. And this will give me a is equals to 144, and b is equals to 112. With the assumption that c equals to 126, then we will have a and b as such. So in this case, a plus b plus c will be equal to 126, 144, and 112. And in this case, this is 3, 8, 2. Now we get the answer that the sum is equal to 3, 8, 2. But we do not know whether this is minimum or how close that it is to the minimum. Since a, b, c are positive integers, if we allow a, b, c to be the same, then the minimum will be obtained when they're all the same and equals to 3 times 42. If a equals to b equals to c equals to 3 times 42, then a plus b plus c will be equal to 3, 7, 8. Uh, let me continue here. Um, this is a partial uh, solution. We still need to check for a plus b plus c equals to 3, 6, 9, 3, 8, 0, and 3, 8, 1. What we know that when a plus b plus c equals to 3, 7, 8, then a must be equal to b equals to c. And this is not allowed. But what happened for the sum equals to 3, 7, 9, 3, 8, 0, and 3, 8, 1? If the sum of a, b, c is any of this number, then this is not the minimum. I have verified it by hand and by a simple programming. There exists no solution that a plus b plus c equals to this number. Checking by hand is quite messy. In short, with this condition, the minimum of a plus b plus c is equal to 382. And therefore, 382 is the answer for this question. As usual, I prepared something similar for you to try. Please put click on and check our final answer in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all for today's lesson. See you again. Bye-bye.